Flutter bat lane. Oh, blind. I, I guess it's not like blind into the lane. That's actually White Mon's courier, but let's see the Lotus. Miero will pick it up. I'm really glad that they changed how this works. Lotus pull every three oh, minutes. Pure. pure. Skewered and first blooded. Miero takes down the Naga Siren. Oh, she's already losing out in last hits and dying now. Thank you, old DK. Down at bottom, Bet Boom make a move on the slaughter. A crush from Toby to try and hold back Nightfall. But with the swarm on him, the minus armor here from the Wave of Terror as well. We'll need to recover. It's Naga Siren, after all, one of the better heroes to recover in the game with in the jungle. And they're going for Miero. Nine classes how, here. How does he get out of this one? It doesn't he look doesn't. like he will. He does. Good move by nine class. So that recuperates some of their losses in that top lane. I don't feel like they need it. Ooh, He's coming Thompson. in and... They're Ooh, making a wrap around on him. He's in a lot of trouble. Clockwork. He's coming in. Trying to save the sniper. And Thompson, tanky. Pops the strength treads, turns around That's now. That's Tank Cartel. He's caught up onto GPK. Toronto, Tokyo, GPK dead and saved might follow them because Pure, the roaming Naga Siren, 10 minutes in, comes in to claim a kill. They just get a bunch of couriers as well. Observer was dying too. I guess trying to gather with the smoke. Go, go back through smoke. the gates, Nightfall. He's going back, actually. <laughs> Let's go fight. Oh, right in on top of nine class. Batrider, well, he was ready and waiting for them, but I don't think he was ready and waiting for four. Everybody through the gate at the same time. Defend the tier one. Now in comes Miera with an RP. Thompson, half HP, trying to walk it back. White Montobi oh, being that he's front line. Oh, Nightfall into the back lines, though, along with save and Toronto Tokyo. Thompson they're trying dying. to go on multiple different targets, but they're succeeding at it. Two down, Thompson, White Mon, and Toby the third as triple kill is there for GPK. Maybe they thought, like, keep him in Radiant place, I'll use the hook shot, then Nine Class drags him slightly more. Radiant save, Radiant setting things up in this bottom lane. Mm, going on Toby. Man, this demonic purge is so annoying. Slardar just can't do a damn thing. And again, the numbers are brought by Bet Boom. Dragonite, Weaver. On so that's that's fine, because Sniper could be potentially. That's level 2 assassinate, 400 damage. Well, there it is. Lasso on to save. Good target to go on. White Mon, the hook shot off the mark again. They'll flame break save. In jumps Miero, pushed by the cogs. Didn't get this blink RP, but he will skewer on the Naga Siren still. Pure all so caught many up in the stuns. stuns. And Bet Boom brings so much to Tank Cardell, he disables. does have shield rune. He's a tanky fella, but this Weaver is chasing into nine class. Good cogs and the smoke gets the Bat Rider away from them. Nightfall being turned on. Time lapse to try and dodge some of the damage. Not there just yet. And it looks like Tundra have run out of gas. Nine class going to come back in onto Toronto, Tokyo. Kill off the Vengeful Spirit. Couldn't finish the Weaver, though, sadly for them. And Tundra looks like they're still pressing forward in towards the mid tier one. I had. They try to go Mero. for Sniper Miero with another skewer play. Right on top of the slaughter, but Toby turns to fight him. Save with a banishment, saving Magnus for a few seconds. Sniper peeps him and now save in trouble, Tundra. They turn the fight perfectly. It has to be like one of the biggest baits in terms of items that I've seen in Dota history. Where you feel like it's a good item, but it never is on a beaver. Good skewer Sniper. back. Thompson's caught. Completely killed off. Bottom that deep observer would finally being used by Bat Boom of it in terms of like what it gives you it gives you more damage it also Radiant like you can bait tower. with it potentially for the hook shot blink lasso Radiant that could come out as soon as he picks up that orchid pure starts to play aggressive but nice oh. rp from miero again there's the jump hook shot from white mon trying to save pure but he's dead already a swap across as well catches out nine class ventral spirit still alive even through the assassinate and tundra gonna lose three in a row Mid tier one defended with force out of Bed Boom. Every one of their members there ready to battle immediately. Play is that kind of meat sack. The guy who goes up in front says, Hello, break a bit of vision, go up high ground. Oh, hello, Batrider. Right onto GPK. DK. Swap is available. Good hook shot, but absolutely right. A swap out from Toronto Tokyo Hero. saves the DK. Four Turn second back on right blank. Lose the Ven, Shadow Demon being jumped, but disruptions there to buy a bit of time for Bet Boom to again rally around this Slardar with all their numbers and kill off Toby. Two for one, Bet Boom just not messing around whatsoever. Every single so fight crisp. in the past five minutes. Catch him here, Miero. Wrap around. And there's the skewer. Four staff from the bat with a flame break to follow. He's going to get slowed down, but he blinks away just in time. Swap is there. Toronto Tokyo spending that 
Additional spell just to kill off the bat. They're getting a lot of farm. Like, they're getting a lot of items. You mentioned the Agatha Scepter on Dragonite. Full Mjolnir finished on Beaver, so all those illusions. It's gonna be a lot of procs. Magnus, this is the third time he finished Echo Saber. So he basically has three Echo Sabers. Can they catch? As yeah. they can. Save's gonna die. And Agatha Scepter... Very... Like you said, we haven't seen it yet. But absolutely a tool that they've got at their disposal to just put a halt to things. They're stop the RP from happening. He wants his Zag for the next fight. Clock Good hook shot this him. time. Straight on the mag. Toby's in. RP is there. On to two. Miero still being peeped from the right-hand side. And this Song of the Siren, oh, it just about gets the job done. Making sure they can focus the BKB target while sleeping GPK in Nightfall. Bet Boom trying to figure out how to re-enter this fight now. But they're being just poked at by this Topson sniper from the high ground. Oh, another catch, but the swap is there. Nightfall trying to scurry away from this one as Toronto Tokyo is going to show off his spread spanking new shiny Aghanim Scepter. A swap there again, going to try and move pure nice into dodge. a position, but Nightfall is the one that's dropping. Has that Aegis, so Tundra doesn't want to commit for the kill. Just leave the low HP Weaver to his own devices and back away. Managed to kill Nightfall there, who's going for Daedalus, but this vision from all these illusions gives Toby another good initiation. Oh, that starts with the rocket flare, cancelling the blink and slowing the Magnus. And it's kind of hunting in this top jungle to try and find someone. Tundra are nearby. Nine class, pure. Leading up with a lasso from the back. The swap is there. The hook shot across through the Weaver. Onto this Shadow Demon and Dragon Knight. They've blown up Toronto Tokyo and saved. The supports disappear. White Mon's gone, but they can follow through on this. Just got to catch up to them. GPK very tanky. And the song is here. Toby wanted to blink crush, but he holds onto it for now. Who's the target? It's the Dragon Knight. They want to go for him first. Nightfall has the Aegis. Mira jumps in. Harpoon, but the jump back. The little grenade pushes Sniper out of danger. Mira has to RP as a bit of a safety maneuver. Now with GPK dumping damage in, they kill Pure. Nightfall looking worse for wear. 10 seconds left in the Aegis, so he's got a second life still. Toby dead to the Dragon Knight. And now the blink back in from Miero is spotted Thompson. Oh, he's going to turn and try to kill the Magnus now. The DK and the Weaver are right on top of him, though. And Bet Boom. Even after losing those two supports early on, the chase looked good for Tundra, and then they- Star Vision is going to see those illusions moving. Tundra very, very defensively postured back in their base. They just have to relinquish bottom tier one. Give a bit of space to Bet Boom here. Respect their advantage. Oh, nine class. He wanted to blink in, but gets swapped in, and that's a big kill. He's dead for a minute. Yeah, no Batrider means these tier 2 towers probably just dead. Miero attempting the jump on Pure. Not going to land the skewer and got silenced anyway. Man, this is where Naga Siren's like, right, oh, boys. Oh, that's a big I'm... jump. Oh, what have he they got some there? Help. Thompson does get away thanks to Whitemon just handing his life over. Bebboom nearly had a monstrous kill on the sniper in that mid lane. And now they're pinging out Toby. GPK didn't want to continue moving forward. They want to focus on these objectives. Three tier 2s. Bit of a poke towards high ground. They know to yes. contest this Roche, which they don't have the vision off at the moment. Illusions, scouting things out. Sniper still peeping from the distance. And Toronto Tokyo just frontlining this Venge, knowing he's pretty damn tanky. Running straight in towards the clockwork. Kill off White Mon. Might have to buy back here if they want to fight, because Thompson and Toby are getting caught up in this. Now got illusions are on revenge. Dragon Knight tanking through a lot of these hits. Gonna break out of the control with his Manta style. Get a bit of distance. Toby and Pure. Oh, the song going to stop Miero's initiation. That is super important for Tundra. Nine class. Pure is charging. You right got the him. Back lines. Nine class with the lasso just taking out Miero. Nice little grenade back from Thompson to try and finish off the Magnus with the peep. He's got the job done. Two heroes taken out by Tundra. And Whitemon did buy back to chase in towards save. A blink by Shadow Demon into the TP Glimmer Cape. It looks like he's out of there successfully. High Grand Vision is there for them in their own triangle. But Tundra are starting to make this approach. Illusions pushing top and mid. Bottom lane already trending in towards Radiant Side. And he's oh, dead. Like siren. So quickly. Yeah. Caught me by surprise. And Pure might die a second time. The RP catches back the Naga Siren too. White Mom with a hook shot. Trying to hold the back. Oh, they're all trapped. Damage. So much raw right click power coming out of Nightfall and GPK, but the Song of the Siren, the BKB's end pure. Can he run away? 
Has he got the space? Trying to make the distance now, but he's been banished. Sent under by the Shadow Demon. And Pure will be caught out, giving this beyond godlike streak to Nightfall's Weaver. Five seconds. So that's two set of barracks. Dragonite with Manta style, Shadow Demon, so Ooh. many illusions. Hey. Oh, Toby jumped in. Miro tried at the same time, but he's now been lassoed up. Swap is there, Toronto Tokyo saves him up. Miro safe and sound, while Toby might not have the same luxury. Wymon's dead. Toronto Tokyo still has his illusion up. So kind of alive on his vengeful spirit. DK Send and we illusions. illusions. Yeah. Back to our Smoking. protection. Smoking right past that dire vision. Miero. Oh, nine class. He drifts away from that attempted harpoon skewer play. Topson coming out of invis to peep out Toronto Tokyo with Toby's jump in. White Mon to the back looking at the save. Nine class is coming as well. Shadow Demon is their primary target, it looks like, to kill him off. No buyback available. Toronto Tokyo, his illusion might be dying soon as well. As Tundra considered the chase forward and Toby going to the back lines and finding Miero. BKB's up, RP's the slaughter. Turns on to Toby and looks to kill him off. With the DK and the Weaver, it's pretty quick and easy. Bet Boom are still in retreat mode, so finding that bonus kill is nice for them. Topson and Pure. Oh, they're trying to catch up to Miero, but he's just TP'd out in time. We're going to have a big old clash in this top left corner. Pure sending out illusions. Smoke in behind him from the rest of Tundra. Bed Boom are ready to make the jump, though. Nice man to dodge on the assassinate. Miero, fake pub. RP, RP thinks about it. Now skewer away. They've got a stun on Pure. Immediately. Oh, my God. That was a Naga Siren. Oh, my swap on the sniper. Ago. Has to buy back. Topson does get away from danger after the swap now. It's trying to Toby. Wow. on to Toby. Slaughter. The damage out of this Weaver is out of this world! Thousands of hits from the crits. They and found him again. Got another catch onto Pure. Kill him off. Nog is down a second time. Two minutes on the sidelines. And Tundra. I mean, they're in a 3v5 right now. Thompson, what can you do? Trying to peep them. Gets a jump turn on the DK. Looking at the Weaver now. Maybe with his Kanda assassinate. Gets a double kill. Thompson sniper. They're back. Oh, you better be afraid. Buyback's coming out of them now, but Nine Class is dead after his lasso play. Slaughter, Clock, and Sniper against the world. Blink Crush, damage on to Nine Ball. Have a save. save is there. Disruption, have a save. Thompson in the middle of the fight, tries to turn and fight into the Weaver. Oh, but the Aviana's feathers should go away to safety. And now they've got the additional jump onto Thompson. Kill him off. He's got buyback, but what will it matter now? No Naga Siren. Bet Boom all alive. And they're ready to keep on going for more for the Batrider. Try and slow him down. Catch up to him with a double magic missile, clockwork, and Batrider. In and another one. Right back. Nice play from Toronto, Tokyo. He uses this illusion and comes back with the buyback. On the spot of the illusion, uses another magic missile because it's magic. Yeah, good luck, Thompson. You've got a Slardar and a Sniper. All up against Bed Boom. Toby makes the jump. The Toronto Tokyo is straight in there, though, with a swap and a stun. Keeps the sniper at bay. And now it is a one versus five. I don't think you've got it in you, Thompson. Jumped on by Miero. Dragonite comes in as well. Save is here to make it all work. And Thompson's going to die as Tundra Call GG and Bet Boom. They secure their second victory in. To live up to expectations, Lacoste. Yeah, we've seen. Bad Boom finishing games one way or the other. The lane's nicely into Pangolier. We are up top. No, trapped in between a Seven and Undying. Oh, Jesus, I've seen this scenario on Reddit a few days ago. Rubik in a bit of a trouble, needs to fall back. What a career being sandwiched by two beefy boys. What are you talking about? Save. Ooh. Oh, we're going to get first blood onto Pure. Takes him down. And White Mon will trade out. And a good start from Bad Boom there, killing the carry. This shield on top of him, so he can't die. The other guy has bazillion armor, so not the fun interactive gameplay. Good cog, so keeps pure out of danger and allows them to turn and kill Miero. I'm getting a kill on that centaur there. I'll leave but both of them were sitting on very low HP, and now White Mon's going in. I really like the change that they made to Rocket there relatively recently, where it actually slows the heroes. Yeah. Needed some kind of a buff. That yeah, feels incredibly useful now. Miero gets himself to the twin gate, but I don't know what his next goal is. <laughs> Thompson, meantime, has died to the big rotation in. GPK rolling onto the Rubik now, looking at 9 class. Toronto, Tokyo, and save 
all came into this mid lane to help out the Pango. While Miero down at bottom is being trapped in the cogs. Is this just a solo kill from Whitemon here? Chipping away at the Centaur and taking him down? He's on the killing spree. Like, a lot of damage onto the Sven. He doesn't have any lifesteal or any regen. He's going to have to bring some more out to himself. In the meantime, down at bottom again, it's white mod with the cogs onto the centaur. A lot of damage with the battery assault, multi-shot, right clicks from the pure drow right under the tower. Chasing him murder. and killing him. You can go to rotate to the bottom lane and fix it, because Drow Ranger is going to be level 6. Centaur, low armor, hero, even you have chainmail and ring of protection, it's still not enough. And this brute and Rubik are causing some issues, even the rotation from the white one, so that's going to be another kill. Yeah, Tundra really picking up the pace here, and with Toby's primal split, they'll easily finish off Toronto Tokyo, crashing onto Nine Glass, though, with GPK's rolling thunder. Tangalier making an appearance and getting a double kill gives Betboom the turnaround they need it desperately. Level 6 at 8 minutes, and then he can start to hunt down Miero. Miero's dead again. Oh, with that stomp, the slow and the hook shot catches up to him, and you're right. Looks like Miero's just dead. Slow to a crawl by these frosty arrows, the calling, and a bit of help from Muerta, not going to save him. And Miero having a really, really tough time. Four deaths. Well, in the mid lane, Topson did get that tier one tower. But man, Tundra, what triple wards now in the enemy triangle. Drow Ranger free farming. Oh, White Mon again. Level six. It's just the White Mon show. Wherever you look, it's clockwork. On top of a hero, trapping them in cogs. Pure might have stepped a little Miero's too far level now, four. Though. GPK has arrived. Miero is, yeah, level four, but a bit of experience there thanks to GPK. The savior of the game right now for Bedroom is this Pango. Feeding him some mangoes. <laughs> Man, I was looking at GPK like, oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. Centaur just dead again. Just me. Oh, piggy. Where are you going? Tombstone half dropped man, down. Half horse, half pig. Goes down. <laughs> the horse bear pig. <laughs> I got himself the tombstone kill, but pure. Chased out by GPK in Toronto Tokyo with a double kill. Bet boom, bringing numbers down south. White Mon had to hook shot to safety into that creep camp, but I don't know how safe he's going to be for much longer. GPK does have a role here. And it's. Oh, Toby just kills a Nightfall alone up in that top lane while this chase and fight is happening. White Mon is toying with them. Dodges two swashbuckles, gets away with the cogs, doesn't die, keeps his streak alive. Meantime, under tower, Toronto Tokyo Silver is dragon. with Topson here. The dragon TP'd in. He's 1v3. They've got the calling, and GPK coming in with a bit of damage. Topson is tanky, though. Now, with the rolling thunder, crashing into DK, they clear him out with Toronto Tokyo's amplified damage from the flesh golem. But Wymon's back in, onto save. Battering into the Muerta, getting the takedown on her. Centaur into pig mode again, just oinking away back to safety. Rocket flare. White Can he DP out? Ooh, no cogs, no battery assault. This a smoke out from Topson with a white mon. Nine class gonna join them. Oh Over no, the they triangle. have his number. Pure up at top. Collapsed on by GPK save and nightfall with that god strength. Converting into tower while Miero dies down bottom. A three-man stomp will not save you from the aggression of Tundra. And mirror yep. movement from both teams, basically. Tower is under attack. Pure is starting to say, guys, go, go somewhere else, play over here, give me some time. Let me find the left side of this map, please. Mid lane, Rubik dead. Saving GPK, getting on top of another target. Yeah, that line drawn around the Radiant Triangle, that is not as, as a Radiant hero. It belongs to the Dyer right now. Another mirror move, though. That's just deja vu. History repeats itself. A blink from Topson, catching up to Miero. Brewmaster and Clockwork joining in the fray, getting the kill for Topson's DK. He wants more. White Mon's in. You're right. The hook shot onto Toronto Tokyo, catching out the Undying. I see with a Flesh Golem, maybe a Tombstone. He can't even cast a spell. The Battery Assault stopped his Tombstone. He ran out of one charges and the Undying just falls flat. Bail or something. He's pinging out the Brewmaster right now as a massive juicy wave arriving at this tier 2. GP's coming in. Blink Stomp. Toby getting chain disabled with the stuns and silences. Pushed back into the calling. Very well executed by Betboo. Ooh, that was perfect. I don't think you're going to ask for anything better. This is why I said I don't. Thinking about going for Toby one more time. Stampede available. 
They see him under vision. Nice blink stomp. Miro and save yet again with GPK taking out the Brewmaster. Delaying that Radiance and making sure that now this Primal Split hasn't been used in, in quite some time because Toby is out farming on his own. And a smoke from Tundra with Toby's Radiance timing. Heading into mid lane. Miero, the Centaur. A lot of damage out of the DK in the Drought. Miero down and the rest of Bet Boom still kind of edging towards mid. Think this just gave them a vision exactly where they are to scan. Let's see if uh, he goes for, for some kind of a steal play. Yeah, I mean, here we go. Hope he does it. He gets it. Just grabbed by White Mont and Undying being harassed and hounded by Toby. He stopped two TPs. What a play. Oh my God. White Mont, he catches them both. Save and GBK stops in their tracks down in the bottom right corner. Backs against the wall. They'll try and rolling thunder and they kill off White Mont, but he's got two lives. He got the Aegis. He'll come back up. GBK trying to high five and beep beep. Roll away as best he can, but in comes. Oh. Oh, Thompson nearly had it, but gets crashed around, kind of itching for a fight. You know, their draft looks like a fighting one. They've got blink stuns, they've got rolling thunder and Sven God strength. I'd love to get in on top of people and try and battle it out. A Drow Ranger is proving to be a sticky target. Gets away, that movement speed you were mentioning allows her to break the distance. And now Toronto Tokyo gonna get stunned up by Thompson. Nice hook shot onto the Sven, White Mon finding the bigger target. And they follow through with the cogs trapping him in, but an awkward high ground to breach. Toby was considering it with his primal split ready. Oh, we lost the barracks. It's <laughs> a better than a banner. It was great. Everything's better than a banner. That is factual and correct. Banner sucks. Toronto Tokyo. He's been scouted. This high ground vision. Bedboom trying to play into it. Sans and stuns under the Brewmaster, but he's saved and lifted by Nine Class. He can now get the split off. No, he can't. No, no, no. Nightfall shuts it down. Rubik gonna try and run away from some zombies. Along with They've Nine Class split. and Pure. Oh, jump in from Nightfall. Dice cleaves into the Rubik. He wasn't even on my screen and he died. The Hizagonim Scepter would definitely love to have that one, but might need to bring it mid fight. Can they bait with this illusion? Miero got scouted again. They oh, did he? Miero got the jump stomp. Brewmaster half HP. Force staff to drift away. Nightfall getting in there onto White Mon, but the clockwork surviving. The no way, he survives again. He gets away from it all. The game doesn't end until the throne dies, and clockwork is still going, guys. <laughs> Bet Boom in full retreat now. No. Stampede. Stolen. That's a stolen stampede, yeah. They're trying to charge forward. Toby Brewmaster in towards Miero. Aegis is grabbed up by Nightfall. And Toby trying to run away from the Rolling Thunder and the zombies while Toronto Tokyo chasing Rubik on the far left side. He got him. Shot on the right hand side, catches him, but he blinks away. GPK gets the distance, but I don't know if he can escape for any longer. Roll up. Dry Rangers come in, a roll up, and he's gone to the. Where, he's where is he? outside. He's, he's in map. Dota 3. Where is he? <laughs> he's pulling off Phoenix. Like, only few heroes can. Four of Lads. There what did you say? You said 60? Armor. Yeah, maybe 60, 70. Let's see. 30 bonus Agi, so sitting at 35 at the moment. Oh, bet boom. High ground tomb. Maybe here with a jump on White Mon. They've got him. The clock works down, but they're trapped in the cogs and the drought can open up. They move in the GPK to force Pure to BKB. Thompson trying to fly over the cliffs and looking at the pango, but your clockwork, your, your carry's dead. With no clockwork, this <laughs> fight doesn't seem so good for Tundra. <laughs> Ben Boom are going dead. to respect Light the Primal here. Split, but they're going to clear out some of these Brulings with ease as Nightfall jumps back in with another stun. He does get lifted up for a second, but in comes Miero with the finishing blow. Some more Brulings yeah, immediately dispatched by Ben Boom here as they numbers. Oh yeah, you get the spell Lifesteal and you also gain like permanent spell amp from the kills. Ooh. It works retroactively now, so that's, that's a good thing. Oh, she, she got six stacks already. So yeah. 12? Thompson, White Mon. They found Miero up at top. We're talking. Anno Domini on Drow Ranger. Try to get oh, something yeah. done with it. This dragon is massive and he's gonna jump Sven. Dragon Tail in with the stuns, lift him up. Sven is done, he's gone for 90 seconds and Toronto Tokyo has followed him into the grave. The rest of Bet Boom trying to escape with GPK running off to the right, gets into the base past the force field. Oh, I mean, Bet Boom, the timing, pretty impressive here. Roshan about to spawn. They've got high ground ward. 
Toby walks into vision. Toronto, Tokyo, and save the jump from Miera, but pure on top of the glacier. Stands her ground, trying to fight. Runs back down. Stampede, a breaking of distance with the hurricane flight. Miero changing target now onto Thompson and Whitemon. DK in a bit of trouble. Has the man to dragon form, looking to run away, but Thompson has died. The brew split. Not doing a whole lot here as the Sven is able to push them all back. Oh, look at this damage. Double kill. Whitemon has to buy back. And Bet Boom, they've kept everyone alive. Cyclone on the Sven is going to cause a little issue here for Betboom to continue the fight. But he'll just jump forward and kill off the Storm Panda with ease. Oh, far to the left. What's going on there? The Rubicon Clockwork. Gleitner and controlled. And they cornered themselves. From Toby. But the Drow Ranger struggling to stick into it. Now finally gets the damage in. And look at Nightfall get shredded by the Drow. Woo! Pure. With a right click hit. Comes back in hot. Thanks to Whitemon with his buyback. Lose an entire lane of barracks for it. And Toby, Rolling I think, thunder. just picked up a refresher orb. Rolling Thunder's trying to get in on top of Pure, but Drow Ranger BKB's up. The Primal Split onto Toronto Tokyo with the damage from the Drow looking good. As Thompson gets the stun on Miero, the Sentinel tried to blink and catch the Drow with the Sven arriving, but the Cyclone, it's there, and Nightfall set out of the fight. They couldn't find Pure. In the back lines, this Brewmaster's going absolutely ham. This brew, that's why you ban it against Toby, I guess. Going deep, finding another kill. That refresher orb arriving right in the nick of time. Oh, there he goes for Megas. Team, kill off the buildings, take the tier three. A refresher shot for Topson, I think, there. Gets another BKB in dragon form. Outlaw save holds the line. The final lane of Barracks top, defended Ooh, by Nightfall Toby. with God Strength BKB. But what does Nightfall do now? He spent everything to defend his buildings and they're still falling. Oh, that's going to be Megas. Well, the good thing is Nightfall talked in an interview yesterday about... Save. Hiding in the Silver Edge, but Thompson, he's got different ideas. A lot of damage on the GPK who disappears. Miero trying to stampede away. They've got the Pierce the Veil out of save to try and fight here, but uh, yeah, Whitemon with the Wind Waker and the Jetpack still going to die to the right click hits out of save. This Morata doing an awful lot, but look at the bottom fight. Nightfall, Ghost Strength, BKB up, but he's being controlled and dealt with by the DK. Nightfall has a TP and call GG. He, he knows. It's over. Yeah, the creeps are approaching. They're losing tier 4 towers, and Nightfall...